<laughs> right, we're going to just proceed Thank without you. the camera for now, because I'm not going to spend a bunch of time trying to figure out what's wrong with it. Um, so, uh, you guys eventually make your way back. It takes about an hour and a half um, before uh, the two of you that were already out make your way back. It's approaching midday now, and uh, the two of you that have been out have noticed that town is busy. I mean, it is like a, a street party. You're hearing a lot of people talking about they've, they've, they've just come from the palace and all of the stuff that's going on. The games, the food, the drinks. Massive <laughs> tables laid outside with like... Uh, one of them has a, a whole, a whole um, bull that's been barbecued whole. Mm. Um, you know, just... All kinds of crazy things uh, that you're hearing going on at the palace. But you make your way back. Look, this guy got my score on Roy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what? The Roy. high score on Roy? No. Okay. Remember? I can yeah, 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 I remember. Yeah. <laughs> Kim just didn't. She reminded me. No, I didn't. Didn't remember. Rick and you mean that garbage television show? <laughs> garbage yeah oh yeah i don't know when we're gonna get more of it uh that, that's when james gunn stops being a pedophile <laughs> that's when you get more oh wait james did i see james gunn i meant um yeah I'm about to justin say. royland just royland <laughs> hmm. um, i didn't know james but... gunn being a pedophile had anything to do with rick and morty what's happening <laughs> Um, so does anyone else do anything in the hour and a half additional that it takes uh, for those two to get back? It will take me more to get to the, like, uh, Yeah, you're, you, you're headed uh, off towards Panther. the Paladin Order, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And no one has sent you a message as of yet, has they? No, no. Right. Um, so, how do you make your way there? Do you call for a car? Do you just walk? Do you... What do you do? Well... It sounded really urgent, so I think we should call for a car. No, I'm talking about uh, Roach, who's leaving to head oh. to talk to the Paladins. Oh, okay. And he's left. Oh, I'm taking uh, I'm taking a cab, or I'm taking like a car from the okay. Uh, an U a Paladin Uber. Got it. <laughs> Uh, you get to the stronghold, uh, you find the gates closed, which is somewhat unusual for this time of day. Uh, and as the car approaches, the gate guard walks out to meet you, kind of waves as, as you roll the window down, um, sees that you're a paladin, gives you a, a salute. Um, I'm 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 sorry, sir, but uh, the the citadel isn't actually having um, many visitors today. Can I ask the the, the 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 purpose for your visit? I'm here to talk to Lord Simon Condry. I performed a task on his behalf, and I'm here to report back. I'm I'm afraid the Lord's not available today he's well I, I assume at the moment he'll be preparing for the feast tell do can I tell what rank this guy is um he's actually you look you look at him and he's he's a a fairly senior squire mm. listen this is out uh, out of our utmost importance. I'm sure that Lord Condryer will have five minutes for me to debrief. If he knows what I know, I'm sure he will forgive the inconvenience. Um, I'll, 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 I'll attempt to make contact. Give me just a few moments. Uh, as he walks off, I, I will also I will contact his squire that he actually put me in contact with. Mm -hmm. What was the name of him? Did you get his name? 
Squire William. Did no, uh, Contrire's personal squire. Mm -hmm. I don't remember if you ever asked him. Huh? Maybe I didn't. Don't okay. Did, yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I tried to reach him. You actually him. attempt to uh, contact him, and you basically get that the line is busy. Mm. Probably because that's who this guy is currently trying to call. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, I'll, I'll just wait. On edge. <laughs> he comes back a couple minutes later, and he says, um, excuse me, sir, I, I apologize. Um, I have spoken to Lord Keldremere's um, squire, who says that the Lord is currently um, in... Um, well, he's, he's currently having tea with the other lords. Um, he, he says if it is urgent, then by all means um, present yourself to the, uh, the, the castle and he, he will attempt to make some time to, uh, to come down to speak with you. But otherwise he does, um, he does inform me that he will be holding his normal um, office hours tomorrow. First of all, yes, to say this, I'm gonna inside check this guy to see if he tells me the truth. Or not. Okay, go for it. But he is the most <laughs> truthful person I have ever met in my entire life. Yeah, definitely. I would trust this man with my life. Certainly, yeah. All the right. Fact that he's a, um, a nervous-looking seventeen-year-old is all just yeah. an act, and you I would know go how to... trustworthy he is. <laughs> yeah, I, I would go to the castle then. Uh, let the squire know that uh, that I will be waiting there for him. Of course. Onward. Okay. You turn and head towards the castle. Back, you know, in the car. Off you go. Mm -hmm. The car actually has to stop nearly two blocks away. Because basically everything's cordoned off for this massive celebration. Mm -hmm. Um... And then you have to walk through this celebration of all of these people eating and drinking and playing games and partying and all of this. You finally reach uh, the inner castle gate, uh, which basically the the outer gates are open so that all of this can be occurring basically on the, on the lawn of, of the governor's mm -hmm. castle. Uh, you reach the inner gate. And one of the guards steps forward and says, um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Sir Knight, but uh, no admittance beyond this point, um, unless you are, of course, I, a guest of the feast. I called ahead. My name is, my name is Paladin uh, Christopher Roaches, and I'm here to meet with Lord Sam Condryer. He brings out a tablet and starts scrolling, and he says, um, I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but your name is not on the admittance list. Well, then you need to check with your superior, because I am here to meet Lord Condryer. Intimidation check. Roll it. This is a Titan's Guard, not a paladin that you are speaking with. I know. It's a little bitch. Fuck! I'm not that in the intimidating. I don't have shit. I forgot. I don't have my helmet on. That's why. <laughs> so it's basically a 24 year old going. Hee. <sighs> Isn't that intimidating? No. <laughs> yeah. Um. He he kind of looks at you a bit oddly, and then kind of nods and goes, "I'll um, I'll double check." And he steps away. Um, he comes back about five minutes later. Mm -hmm. uh, and he goes, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, but your name is still not on the guest list. Then I guess I just have to wait here until that system of yours gets updated and I'm on that list. As you wish. 
Um, there are some benches just along the, the path. I'll stand. Very well. I'm gonna call back to that fucking guard who didn't call ahead as I asked him to. Jesus Christ, um, seventeen year olds roll, roll are not me to be trusted. On this guy. Uh, okay. No, He's the most truthful the person I have ever met. Yeah, you're not on the list. He can't let you in, man. Yeah, yeah. You suck at insight. Yeah, I do. So how long do you wait? Hours. So I guess you guys can, if you can skip to tents and the rest of the crew until the highest okay. bird's um, nest starts to form here at the shoulder. So Zephyr and Zai, you arrive back at the tavern. <clears throat> Zephyr and Hello? Zai, you arrive back yeah, at the yeah. tavern. Cool. So... What, what was the rush about? Oh, are you you at the door? Yeah, I would have I would have run up the stairs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I. You as, as you step in, please room, come the sit first, down. Yeah, as the first thing that answers, Tennyson answers the door, says, "You know, please come in, please come sit down." And as you walk into the room, you notice that he does not have an arm. Oh my god, are you okay, Tenzin? Yes, I am fine. Who stole your arm? He he takes out the, the, the spare one that he he had before he put on the laser rifle and starts putting it on. Do not okay. worry. Was was this, was this this the why we had to rush? I understand. N no. I have decided that I will no longer be journeying with the, the group. Sorry, I don't. I don't understand. I will no longer be a part of this group. What do you mean, not a part? I am leaving. Okay, so when you're coming back. I'm sorry, Zephyr. I'm I'm not coming back. Yo, wait. Yo. Yo, wait, wait. I I don't understand. Sai, can you tell him? Tell him. Zephyr. No, he's he's not good going. Why do you wish to leave? I'm going back to my old hermit. My... But you can, you can come back, right? You can just go. If you, there's something you need to do, I can help you. I'll be right there. I can help you all the time. I can, I can, you know... Zephyr, they are looking for me. If I come back... We can go somewhere will... else. I will fight this anyone. Is your home. This is Roach's home. This is my home. I don't deserve a place here. This is this a uh, this can be your home. We can make it your home. I cannot abide by what I have done since I have been here. I should practice what I preach. Peace. But you can do that with us. We can be peaceful. So, tell him, Sai. Someone tell him. He just sort of shakes his head. I... I... Who's, who's searching for you? He takes out the, uh, the wanted poster and hands it to you. I was originally a prototype. I was a warforged to be embedded with 
Psy crystals. I'm unsure if due to these psy crystals or because of luck, I was immediately sentient, unlike most warforged, which takes some time to become sentient. I was a part of a breakout. The soldiers came after me. They didn't want... They wanted me back under any circumstances, even destroyed. I can't help but think that if they find me here, you will all be in trouble. How is that, that any different than, than, than Blake's wanting me to gone? We can, we're family, we can protect each other. It isn't just that. Ever since, ever since everything that happened, I... It was a kindness, but it was wrong. It... <coughs> Sorry, whatever I did, Tenson, I, I promise I won't do again. Not, not you, not you. Not, it was all me. It was, it was my fault. I'm confused. What was your fault? The kobolds. I should have stopped Aiden. I shouldn't have killed them. I should have done so many other things differently. <coughs> it is all my fault. You but, can't just run away because you made a bad decision. I am not running away. I am doing what I have to. I am changing. Speak to my master. He helped me. Maybe he can help you too. I will go back to those who had helped me earlier. Perhaps they will help me now. We help you. Why? Why? Why are we not the same? Oh. I don't. <sighs> Can someone please tell me? Explain to me what? Why? I don't. No, this is wrong. I'm gonna storm out, by the way. This is wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna run down. Oh, shit. Do I stay here and talk to Ted or do I chase after him? I have to chase after him. I'll Ted's and will be fine. Okay, I'll just wait here, Ted's and I'll chase after Zephyr. Ted's will begin to get his things together. Yeah, so good luck with that. I'm running with a base speed of 60. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so good luck with that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be sprinting just down the street. Uh, almost a bit crying. Uh, <laughs> You're going to run past me? It's just like... <laughs> uh, DM say AFK. Yeah. yeah, I still see. <laughs> You can, still <laughs> choice of eyes on you. you can still call him. Not losing you through the big thick crowds. No, in fairness, I'm a blue, big blue ball of <laughs> yeah, something it's running. Like, it's not that I should have had advantage on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to chase that after you until I catch up. Until you stop. I'm not going to catch up. Until you stop. <laughs> until he runs out of steam and... and you you haven't even moved yet. He's ran twice around the city in the time you've taken a few steps. <laughs> yeah, but because Wait, he ran around the city, he's now back from where he began. So he's back in the tavern and it's like... What so the fuck all I have, have to do is turn around. So, yeah. All I have to do is face this way and to face this way. Basically, to, get to, to explain, Casey, um, Tencent said he was leaving. Uh, the, he wouldn't... Uh, Zephyr wouldn't take that. And he ran away and said, no. And... Right. You know, sixty 
60 feet, so he's going really fast. I'm, re I'm re uh, to right. explain, Casey, yeah, I'm running to the temple of where my um, my master was. Oh. Oh. That seems like a horrible idea. Yeah. Stop him. Wait, Stop what? him. I can't Stop. catch up. So, so you're, 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 something. No. So you're leaving town. No, no, so I'm running towards, and I'm not going to be able to make it, because it's still, uh, I can't remember how far it was, but it was quite far, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, Miles your, your away. master's temple was a couple of days, was a, few, was a few days travel. Yeah, I remember it being quite far, so no, uh, I'm, j I'm just going to start running towards there, towards, because that, that will be on my mind, but I'm, I will change so my mind as I go. The city gates is where you'll yeah, exactly, exactly, and I will change my mind before That's I get to the actual gates. Yeah. Because I realized that actually it's quite far. <laughs> yeah. Three days is a long run. Yeah. And that was actually three days a lot of it by vehicle. <laughs> Picture of Sephir running through the streets. Jasper. Jasper. Oi. Lightning instead of a red one. But, uh, so yeah, uh, Tenzin, yeah, Tenzin's just packing his stuff. So, when I get close to the gates, I think Sai will find me on the side, sulking. Hi, Sai. You can't catch up. <gasps> Okay. Why the? You want some water? <laughs> She's used to chasing after horses, not lightning. <laughs> So, well, then you have a base move at like forty or sixty. Oh, no, that's <laughs> yeah. So, can you can you tell me why everybody leaves? No. My parents went away. My master went away. The only nice person towards me went away. Why does everybody have to leave? Nobody has to leave. Well, oh. eventually everybody leaves, but. Tenzin's just got to go find himself, like a gay 19-year-old hairdresser going to Europe. <laughs> so. Okay, just throwing shade, okay. like throwing shade wow. at your dad there, Jesus. Wow. So, but I I don't understand. Still a little bit salty about losing a hairdresser back when I was 16 because he had to go to Europe to find himself. And then my next hairdresser did the same thing. Anyway. <laughs> Maybe they just don't like you, Jamie. <laughs> Wow. It was just an excuse of yeah. like, you're, you're oh, gonna, you're oh gonna I gotta like, go find myself. You're, uh, gonna go, you're gonna go to the store next week and find the two of them getting groceries together? That would be nice, actually. <laughs> they found okay. each other in Europe. Consider <laughs> oh, No. Oh. Well, hey. Okay, we, we got a second. I thought you were supposed to be right all. There. Yeah. Anyway, point being, I, I mean, I, 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 it must be my fault. I mean, is it because not, no. is it because I destroyed the heart? No, Zephyr. It's it's not got anything to do with you, really. It's not got anything to do with any of us. This is all on him. Do not blame yourself. Don't blame yourself for anyone leaving you. This isn't your fault. Okay, but everybody leaves me though. Nobody leaves like you, because you're awesome. <sighs> That's because I'm sort of the person that leaves, but I'm not going anywhere. Hmm. Okay. So... What should I say to Tenzin then? What do I, what do I say to people that leaves without dying? Fuck off, asshole. You you wish them well, and you 
hope that you will see them again. But if they're choosing to leave, then you can't dwell on that. I know. I know what I can do. I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Please don't run. I'll, I'll, I'll meet you there, yeah? Oh, fuck. Okay. I, I just need to buy something. <laughs> do you need some coin? No, no, no. I, I have this. I, I'm picking up my gold bag because uh, cause I've been collecting all the coins I've been given. So I have about four, four and a half thousand gold in there. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Motherfucker! No, I'll just... Where does everyone got their fucking gold from? I have 14! I, I have 100, <laughs> man! I have 14 gold! I'm still so... trying to buy land. Okay, sorry, let me check my gold pouch. I thought it was... I said... Okay, no, it, it wasn't that much. It wasn't that much. Okay, I, I, it, it wasn't that much. It's still a lot, but it's not that much. <laughs> so... I'm the only one here with an actual job. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, see. Okay. Being good, don't pay back? the bill. I don't know where he's going, I'm following him. <laughs> he's probably gonna go buy something. Where are you going? He's gonna keep securing those nuclear launch codes that the fucking Russians keep firing at him. Yeah, what the fuck is <laughs> yeah, that? Really? Nuclear alarms in the background. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I thought That's it was Destiny named that tab I had open, but no. Okay. It's one of you guys. <laughs> There you go on in my presence. Okay. I run back. You head out, you come back. It takes you about two hours to make that trip. Yeah, that's fine. It takes me two hours to work my way back as well because I don't live. In the city, really? I don't know where I'm going. There's literally one road from the gate to the tavern. But she has I somehow got turned around. Uh, she has a horrible sense of direction. So. Okay, so to, to, to speed this up a bit, when I come back, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna give the uh, gift to Tencent. So. Okay. You're the first person that doesn't leave me with uh, with dying or something else, so I want you to have this. So whenever, at least if I can ever reach you, then then I'll I'll contact this, and you know that I want to talk to you just to hear your voice. Is that okay? Uh, what did what did you what did you give me? Uh, I give you a pager. Just a pager. Just a pager. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Like the captain, he, 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 he nods slowly. Very well. I will keep this. Thank you. He waits until Zephyr leaves and throws it in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's like the Captain Marvel pager. Yeah. What do you mean when you hear him? When you want to hear his voice, you don't transmit through pagers. Dude, he's a kid. He doesn't know how pages work. No, no, I know how pages work. I'm, fi I, I, my guy knows how pages work. That's all. Okay. He said, "Yeah, well, when I page this, I can call you, or you can call me." Mm -hmm. And that's it. So I'm gonna say, so I, I guess, be good, and you know. Don't kill things. Try. Yes. They they kind of stab you in the heart sometimes, so don't kill things. <laughs> they do, don't they? And uh, Tenzin takes his stuff and leaves. And Tenzin departs. Guys, let's all make a pact that we kill any guy who ever approaches us wanted to, wanted to <laughs> 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 
And uh, just, Doc, you're like, out of the group. It's like <laughs> me, Aiden, and Zephyr in the group are like just still in the room. I'm like, okay, we don't trust anyone. Anymore. Ever again. <laughs> they clearly all just leave. <laughs> clearly all just get up and go. Anyone who joins our party, besides Roach, who's somewhere right now, we kill them. <laughs> yeah. That's a joke, Zephyr. Stop crying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, the Sephir, Sephir will be crying, there's no doubt about that. Oh. I shall comfort Zephyr. That's because he's actually a sappy female. <laughs> well, yeah, he's a kid. Oh, so with all the people coming into town to for the free shit, they won't be hard to replace Denzin. But... You say that out loud? <laughs> Doc, have you already rolled your new character? Because we can literally yeah. just walk out the front door and just yeah. go in the crowd and go, hey, that one. <laughs> hey. hey. So, outside of the game, how come you wanted to change? Didn't like the storyline? Um, yeah, I just... I, I didn't really like him in general. Uh, he didn't really fit with the group. No. Uh, I thought I thought of the character as sort of like this sort of traveling peaceful monk of like you know, oh yeah, violence the last resort, and then it sort of changed as a gun went by, <laughs> and then I was like, I don't. Uh, We're pulling and everything. Then, yeah, <laughs> especially when Aiden literally shot the fucking cold. Bold in the face, I was like, oh my god, who am I playing now? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, was that too much in you executing the fucking kobold? Well, by that, was, that was also a, a part of, like, coping, and Tenzin also, that, one of the reasons why he left is because he was like, well, you know, their lives are completely fucking ruined, I have to end them. You know, I, I could go into all of it. He was putting himself was basically in situations the, that were just helping him. Yeah. yeah. I get it. It's fine. I, I was just curious. I figured it would be something like that and it would make sense based on your character choice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was also thinking like, yeah, the Zen dude, yeah, I'm just going to stab everyone who's sleeping, uh, even the children. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I don't know. Yeah, so, just, the, so the new sense. character that Doc's gonna bring here is just gonna be a mass murderer. So it just yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, the, I don't think there's a single peaceful warrior monk society. Any of them that teach peace are is after the enemy is dead. That's when there's peace. Yeah. Most monks are vicious. That's so. Yeah, that's just so, the yeah, so Doc's gonna bring in my character from ESO into the group. Oh. Yes, he's like going to be a uh, serial murderer vampire. Um, yep. Mm -hmm. Did you go vampire, Yeniso? <laughs> yes, he did. Okay. Uh, no, but my, I will say my new character <laughs> will not care about kobolds being destroyed. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you play what you want, you'll be brought in when yeah. you will be brought in. Uh, I assume there's some planning works right now. Yeah, I'm just going to wait until after I get back from Disney and then let Doc join again. <laughs> Uh, sorry for making it hard, by the way. <laughs> well, that, yeah, that's my character. No, it's okay. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, pr I, I know, I know that the the idea was that I was supposed to make a new character when you came back no, from I, Disney, I but then you, you said, I "Yeah, know. okay, good." No. Yeah, but then it. then you were like, "Yeah, you're wanted," and I was like, "Well, looks like I'm leaving <laughs> time now." Time to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I, I, okay. was, I was waiting to see what you did because I didn't know if you would try to see out the storyline and then leave, or if you just decided it was the time to leave. But I was yeah, happy no. either way. So I didn't want to. I didn't want to force that on the group. That's that's a line yeah, you're, that you're leaving it to can't me to force it on the group. I've, it's no problem. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I'm I'm very good at forcing things on the group. In fairness, we used to it. Yep. Um. <laughs> Madman, mm -hmm. while all this is going on, Roach waits for two hours outside the gate, and nothing has happened. I'm calling, like, once half an hour to uh, uh, either... Uh, I would call dispatch after one hour, but uh, in, well, like, 
First, after half an hour, I would call the the squire again. Uh, the squire does and, answer. Uh, oh, okay. Um, he say, uh, "Hey, this uh, this is uh, Paladin Christopher Rochus. I'm here to report in to uh, Lord Conrier. Um I'm standing outside the gate, but they say I'm not on some kind of list. Could you please put me on it so I can go in and talk to him?" The Lord is. is quite busy today. Is this an emergency? This is an emergency. It's very important that I talk to him. Wait. Give me, give me a persuasion roll. I'm not good with those. I've been rolling shit. Hang on, hang on. Let me just roll a d20 first. Get my roll out of there. Oh, great. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good job. <sighs> great job, Jake. You know what, Mad Mad? There was... Because the 19 was the first D20-year-old, I am going to be nice. Exceedingly nice. And I'm going to give you that one. Bullshit, nice. I'm, I'm throwing number for this. He's getting spent. You cut out really badly, though. I didn't hear what you said. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I said I've grown great umbrage. That's fine. I don't care. <laughs> um, you, you hear some whispering in the background, and, and then after a few moments, he goes. Um, very, very well. If it, if it, if it is an emergency, I will, um, I, I will make sure that you're, you're, you're let up. Thank you. It clicks. Um, about two minutes pass, and the door opens again, and a paladin steps out, looks around, and he goes, "Are, are you Rotus?" No. No. What? What was it? That. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Um, very well, this way. The... It's a very busy day, but if this is truly an emergency, then please, hurry. I, I would kind of give that Titan Guard a look like, eh, as I walk past. <laughs> he, he basically ignores it. Yeah. I remember that. <laughs> um, you get led through the palace. You've never actually been in the palace before, and it is... Oh, I'm, I'm a farm boy. ...pretty amazing. Um, you get you get led through, and, uh, no problem, Doc. Um, you get led through, led in, and the, the paladin that brought you up says, Now, I, I, I can only stress that, by all means, this is occurring because this is an emergency, but um, we would ask that you not hold up much of the Lord's time this day, as they are quite occupied. Uh, and as he says this, he swings the door open, and you watch as the door opens into a room where there are seven people sat having tea. Oh, all of them are there. The, the five lords, Blake and Elsbeth, are the seven people around the table. Right. Uh, he kind of walks into the room and salutes. Says, Paladin Christopher Roaches. Um, Lord Kelmdeer kind of turns and, and stands up and says, Yes, yes, you... I'm told that this is some kind of emergency. Is this certainly nothing that can wait until tomorrow? I believe you would want to hear this as soon as possible, Lord Condryer. Sorry, sorry, is this Condryer or Con Condyer? Condyer. Condyer, okay. Condyer. K E L M D Y R. Condyer. Kelmdyer. Could, could you spell it in chat? Oh, 
Oh shit, I was way off in spelling. Alright. Cool. <laughs> Kelm dear. Yes, that's what I've been Kelm dire. Kelm dire, okay. Yes. Uh, did we walk off, or is he standing at the table? Uh, he's walked probably five feet away from the table to, to, to meet you closer to the door. Yeah. I, I can, uh, with my body language, I suggest for him to kind of get in close, and we kind of turn away a little bit so I can talk in a hushed tone to him. He, he looks at you a bit oddly, but he does... He is standing in such a way that, that he is between you and the table. Okay. Um, I completed the mission you sent me on. Uh, there are, however, several things that happened down there that I sh think you should know about. First of all, I have come into possession what I believe to be the seed ever what was lurking there and if they are correct one could potentially gain eternal life from it his eyes go a bit wide when you say that and furthermore uh, right before leaving we were intercepted by agents from copper in Hoops Dragon. They were heavily armed, but the signature and markings on the armor were quite clear. But again, I would like to stress the fact that there was a dragon present. I, uh, I had never seen one before, and they were standing there with it. I don't know what that means. I will need to spend more time investigating that. These mm. seeds that you mentioned, though, mm. where are they? I have them with me, sir. You brought them into the palace with you. I, I couldn't leave them. I, I, I didn't know where a safe place for... Uh, I believe... He, he kind of starts walking towards the door and grabs you by the arm and just leads you out of the mm -hmm. room with him. Okay, yeah. As he, I shut up when mm -hmm. he does that. Um, once you get out of the room, he motions over to the, the, the paladin that, that led you up, uh, who, mm -hmm. upon closer inspection as he's, as he's approaching now, you actually do notice that some knights that are particularly beholden to a single lord will wear on their armor something of the Lord's mark. And this guy actually does have Kelmdar's, uh, Kelmdar's mark on his armor. Mm. Uh, so he's one of, one, of, one of Kelmdar's kind of personal knights. Uh, and, he, and he says, give, give, give me the seeds now. They, they, they must not be kept here. Right. I, I just want to, to stress that the man who ate them and gained that long living life. Uh, he kind of still whispers that to the Lord and not to the Paladin. He was sick in the mind from it. And he kind of takes out, like, the, uh, uh -huh. he has kind of make like a wrapping of it, like with mm -hmm. like two cloths, like over it, and kind of gives him uh, the bundles. Okay. Uh, and he basically hands them to this other knight, and he says, take these to my vault, make sure that they arrive there safely, and remain under guard. And the knight salutes, and off he goes. And he turns and he looks at you and he goes, did you... Did you find anything else within that place? I did. Uh, he takes out his bag again mm -hmm. 
and he says, I estimate that at least 27 paladins have perished in those ruins. I don't... Where are they from the Iron Soul? Do you actually show him the, the plates? Yeah, I ca he kind of opens up and says, um, I recognize um, 11 of these from uh, a power armor, but at least 16 of these look ancient, like from what we've seen in the history books. He, he immediately grabs the, the power armor plates mm. and, and starts looking at them. Um, and he finally reaches one and, and you actually see him stop and then just close his eyes for a moment. And Which one? in your haste at grabbing these before, you didn't mm. really look at them all that closely. And you notice that the name on one of them is Kelmdir. Oh. And he just kind of stops and stares at it for a few moments. And then takes a deep breath. And he, and he looks at you and he says, I must trust that you will say nothing of this to anyone. I won't. You will swear your discretion on this. I swear. Thank you. Where... Where, where do you stay when you are within the city? Um, it's a place named the, Le uh, the Flowing Flagon. The Flagon. I, I know of it. Be because of the events of today, I, I do not have it with me, but I will have your reward delivered to the Flagon for you. I thank you for all that you have done. And I appreciate your discretion greatly. It was only my duty. If if I may, though, my traveling companions, they, if possible, could they also receive a reward for this task? It was very trying, and many of them almost died during all of this. I, I, will, I will make sure that the reward is sufficient. Thank you very much, my lord. He nods, and um, and, and as you kind of you, you almost feel like you've been dismissed, and you kind of turn to go, and then as you do, he says, "And I would, should you ever need a boon of me, I will do all I can to assist." Thank you, sir. And. He kind of nods and he looks at the plates and he slips them into a pouch at his side. Um, looks at the one that has Kelm Dyer on it again for a moment, and then puts it away as well. And he says, I, I should be getting back. It's a celebratory day. Mm. I'm sorry for your loss. Safe journeys. Did he take all the? Like in yeah, all of the plates, yeah. Okay, even the second and first age uh, ones. Oh no, he on he only took the the third age plates. Okay, interesting. Okay. All right, and I guess I I head back. That went much better than I expected. <laughs> um, yeah, you head out. Um. Make your way back to the tavern. Yeah. What's the rest of the group doing after Tenzin has left? Chilling. Sat drinking in the bar. So after, <laughs> like one minute that after he's left, I'm gonna try the patience. Like, is this working? Is this working? Please say it's working. And I'm assuming he still has his comments. We can even answer me. So, uh, or something like that, so you probably just like, yes, it's working. How about now? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pretty much. Yeah, just going to do that a couple of times. Um, uh, so, other than that, I'm just going to be my guy. Okay. 
None of you are heading out to the celebrations. Not interested in the celebration, in fairness. Don't really care. <laughs> what, now is um, not a good time to party? Oh, well, the bitch boy got e engaged. Yari hoo hoo hoo, yay. We kill him at his wedding. Yes. Um, oh. Oh. <laughs> so, oh, so can we get oh. all? You come back, Roach comes back to find all of the group except for Tenzin sat in the bar drinking. Looking Hi everyone! Friends. Great news! What uh, is that? Well, I talked to our friend, and he is very happy what we what we did. I made sure that all five of us are getting a reward for a job well done, and I think we should all gather together and celebrate. There's Did no he pay us? There is no reason to celebrate. This is a sad day. No, it's a happy day because we completed our mission. It's a very sad day. Tenzin left. Where? The group. <laughs> Puts away the bottle of whiskey about. Like, yeah, okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. We need that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Russia>. <laughs> you know. um, how how old are you, Sephir? I'm turning seventeen in like soon. That's old enough for date to drink. <laughs> yes, a smudge. Roach, no. I was 15 when I started. And look how you turned out. I'm a paladin, exactly. I'm a, a role model for everyone in this town. But, no. Well, thank You're you. You're stumbling fall at the moment. <laughs> well, I had some on the way over here. Okay, that makes sense. Alright then. Um. Well, shit. Yeah, so your good news. That is good news. We're out of well, the shit. It's. It's. We did. We did do a good deed. Uh, that. Those ruins had. were the cause of death for a lot of people. Not only the ones who lived there, but in the surrounding areas and people who were unfortunate enough to ac accidentally go there. If you're going to say, if your next words out of your mouth are, uh, the good deed is payment enough. I'm going to take this whiskey bottle and I'm going to shove it up. I look over as if you're... <laughs> oh, you're ASS? <laughs> A-I-S-E. Oh. Same with class. You ain't no donkey. Yeah. Um. Uh, I did say that. I did say, however, and he kind of <laughs> goes back a little bit, that my companions were maybe happy in a monetary compensation for their hard labor. <laughs> <coughs> yes. So. So where's our monetary compensation for the shit we just went through? Uh, did you not... ask for monetary compensation or did you simply say that we'd wish to have monetary compensation? I'd like he, to point out that there is a difference. He said that he would uh, give it to us when he had time. And I believe that is to be soon. You know when you give a girl your number and she says she'll call you, and then she doesn't? It's sort of like that, but with money rather than sex. I don't follow you. Or... Have you ever got a girl's number? You know what? Never mind. Just Wait, wait, wait. I give tens in my number. Am I on trial here? I don't. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, so I feel that's a different thing. Different, right different, different. I don't. Um, 
the, uh, with the... We'll play it this year. I have a book that we can shut, read together. Shut, shut up. And... Yeah. I will drink. Okay, drinking. Down yeah. for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, uh, he's a lord. I'm sure he, he will compensate you in a way. We are bit. peons. Pinions. Pin, what do you call them? Pions. Pions? Pions. Yes. Sorry. I, I know it's not your first language. Come it's fine. Yes. <laughs> Fucking kill you. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, just he, he, might, He's not he gonna... might pay you all in swords. Uh, exactly. <laughs> He's not going to pay us back. It's like... stupid. Okay, but... The minute you left the office, you lost all ground for us to actually get anything from that whole ordeal. Except scars and a bruised ego. So, I... thanks for that, Roach. You're such the diplomat. I'm sure he feels indebted to us. I know that's certain. No, he won't. He is a lord and we are just people. Uh, about an hour passes as you guys are having this conversation. <laughs> like, and, and we we're, we're like halfway we down the bottle, like, yeah. you know, uh, we will get a thing. And you're like, no, we won't. Yes, um, we'll pick up win. a chair and throw it. And then... <laughs> regret that because Dern is giving me a funny look and go and pick yeah. up the chair. Yeah, like, Dern does right. immediately glare at you and you just go pick up the chair. <laughs> pick up the chair and blow him a kiss and then just go put the chair back. It's fine, dust it off. Fun. Yeah. Um, Didn't a... break the chair, just threw it. Yeah. Uh, a paladin, or, a, or a, a, a junior paladin or a squire walks in, not wearing armor, but just in their, like, um, the dress uniform that a lot of paladins wear around town. Oh, oh shit, look sober. Hey. <laughs> and he's carrying what looks to be a, a metal box. Whoa. He he walks over to you and he says, um, Good afternoon, is this Paladin Roach? Roaches? Yep. It's a roach. <laughs> Good morning, sir. I, I have been sent to uh, deliver for you um, this... Uh, Recompense from Lord Kelmdire. Uh, oh, he, he says that. Are uh, you? He hopes that you take this. Uh, you and your companions take this um, with his gratitude. And uh, oh, this is fantastic. Hang on, C could you come here a little bit closer? Yes. Just, just here, I, I, say I, that I, a little I, bit I would, over. I would here. really rather not, sir. Um, I, oh, you're, 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 you're I grabbed the boy's face like that with his chin and. 